the good afternoon, Goldie. And judging by this research, aren't the people hurting enough already? You know, obviously they are. And, you know, it's... Out, it, <sighs> I consider it downright immoral what's happening in Washington today, and I think that the American people are frankly fed up that we can't, for the life of us, determine how to raise this debt ceiling in a reasonable way while closing some of these wealth gaps out there. I mean, it's, you know, you're asking us to cut Medicaid, to cut Social Security, but you won't close the loopholes, you know, IRS tax loopholes for the wealthiest Americans and for some of these corporations who came to us, by the way, for loans a couple of years ago to bail them out because they were too big to fail. Indeed. You know, I just feel like we really ought to be, you know, on a much more sane ground here. At a time when Republicans are refusing, as you say, to increase any taxes on the wealthiest in America, the gap in wealth between white, whites and minorities is now at its widest in something like a quarter century. It seems like the economic downturn has been literally catastrophic for minorities in this country. Catastrophic is right. You know, if you look at African American and Hispanic households, fully a third of them report zero wealth, not even a dollar in positive wealth. A lot of that wealth was tied up in the homes that they spent more than 75% of their income either buying or maintaining. And so when those homes were taken away, the wealth went with it. If you put on top of that affordable health care and access to health insurance, then, you know, most of the bankruptcies in this country, especially from black and brown people, are driven because of health care costs. And so when you ask yourself what has happened to black and brown Americans, I can tell you what happened to them. Corporate America happened to them. People who are, you know, you know, literally raping these people over medical costs, exorbitant medical costs, and then to turn around and swipe the homes that they worked their lives to build, you know, over some subprime lending issues. And so I think that we ought to reexamine our priorities as a country, that we ought to reexamine how we intend to go forward. I don't think that that's the America that we're all banking on, the America that we all believe in. Wow.